about seven months ago, I tasked myself with this challenge. And remember, it's a, about seven months ago, I decided to challenge myself with uploading at least one high quality post on Instagram every day for one year. Sounds easy, right? But recently I missed a day. And although I failed, it's what I've learned along the way that has transformed my photography to that next level. Before I move on, let me know in the comments below if you would succeed in this challenge. Also, have you subscribed yet? And while you're there, give this video a like too. At the beginning of this challenge, I always thought that my photography was pretty good. I had always been taking photographs intermittently throughout my life. So I figured my stuff is pretty good. But what started to happen to me was that the more that I would post on Instagram, the more I realized that my photographs really aren't as good as other photographers out there. And look, I know this isn't a competition, but I like to use other photographers as a barometer to see like where my work is at. And after the first two months, I quickly realized that I wasn't even average. And that's because I didn't know any of the techniques. I mean, I always figured that a picture is a picture. As long as you put the effort into it, you're gonna get a good image, but that's not true. I mean, it, there's so much involved with taking a great image. And because of that, it forced me to start investigating, to start researching and start to figure out what is my style. And along the journey, I've learned so much. So then for those following months, I started to reach out to other photographers on Instagram and just ask them like, what did they do? What, what could I do to improve on my skills? And more importantly, I started to watch videos of other, other photographers to see what it is that they do. What do the professionals do? And I started to implement these into my daily routine when it came to taking uh, photographs. Then what feels like out of nowhere, my photography started getting really good. And others started to notice my work as well. And the craziest thing out of all of it is that my followers and my like count started to go up. The whole point of my challenge was not only just to upload a high quality photograph every day, but it was to see what I could do with just a blank Instagram account without having any of my friends involved, just pure organic growth. And it was pretty cool to see that I started to get 100 here and 100 there, 20 likes in the first few minutes. And that started to really ingrain in my head that, okay, my quality's getting there. Now let's make it better. I started to really hone in on my quality. And in turn, I became hypercritical of my work. To give an idea, I could take 100 photographs. And out of those 100, only five I would find to be worth uh, really editing. And after months of doing this, I started to become really disciplined and my work ethic improved tremendously, which is something that I think everybody can improve on. And after a few months of doing this, I was able to produce high quality work consistently, which is such a hard skill to improve on when you're only taking photographs every once in a while. Now, even though I was on the up and up last week, I ran out of photographs and more importantly, I ran out of time. See, like many of you, I'm busy from the second I wake up. A lot of people count on me every day. So I was starting to get worn thin and I had to prioritize my time and I had to sacrifice my photography just a little bit. And guess what? I was okay with it. And look, of course I hate to fail. My whole mentality is if you say you're gonna do something, you have to see it to completion. But just like any other failure that really hits me hard, it caused me to reflect. And I was really proud of what I've accomplished in that seven month span. And because of this challenge, I started to improve on my work ethic. I started to learn what discipline truly was. I've had to sacrifice a lot. I've traveled a lot of places. I started this YouTube channel, which has in turn made me even more disciplined, more motivated. And above all else, it really taught me how to become even more social. I know that I seem to be super outgoing and I kind of am, but for the longest time after, especially after college, I just kind of kept to myself because so much has been going on in my life that I've kind of gotten away from it. And I've kind of lost myself in a sense. And with challenging myself artistically, it has given me license again to reach out to people, to become a social butterfly. And even though maybe I might seem like I'm super outgoing, it's so hard for me to put myself out there because it's easier not to. And who doesn't like to be comfortable? But for me to grow, I know that I have to be uncomfortable all the time, which can be exhausting. But so much good has come out of this short period of time. Uh, on Instagram alone, I've started to communicate with a lot of people and the things that I've learned, not just in photography, but about what it is to be a person. And I've also found out that I'm not the only person that has these quote unquote issues. 
you know, I'm not the only one that deals with uh, my self-esteem, with my own criticisms. There's other people like that out there. And that's such a cool thing to learn. And, and, I think, and I think it shows in my photography, and especially lately, I've been really taking the time to improve my photography. And even though I missed a day, I know that I have the ability to post consistently. And I think I will keep doing it at least once a day for, I'm gonna to try to finish out the year like how I originally uh, planned out. Um, but if I miss another day, that's okay because I know that I have the ability to do this in the long run. And so if you are watching this video, I hope that you challenge yourself uh, more often. And you could try this challenge too, see how far you can get, that's great. But it doesn't have to be that extreme. It can be anything. Just remember, comfort is your enemy. You wanna push yourself as much as possible. I'm gonna wrap this one up, but I think it's important to understand what goes on behind the scenes of a photographer, of an artist, and I think you need to uh, do that more often as well. It's not just about what you're putting out in the world. It's also what you're taking in. And once you understand that, your art is going to improve tremendously. And it's something that I wish I would have known at an earlier stage in my life because this has helped me out so much. It's therapeutic. All right. If there's a topic or a question that you'd like for me to make a video about, please let me know in the comments below. If you feel more comfortable reaching out to me on Instagram, I'm going to leave that link in the description and I'll probably put it in this video at some point. And remember, we all fail. Everyone does. But it's what you do 